Hey, this is Coach Bill. Glad you're back here with me. Want to pick up where we left off the last time that we were here. Uh, we started to talk about our philosophy of hitting uh, three components that help create that, three items that I think uh, create the base, the foundation of my hitting philosophy. And that was number one, to have strong feet. Number two, to have good internal rotation of the hips. And number three was being on time. And over the course of time here, we have spent a lot of effort on uh, delving into the seven items uh, of being on time. Uh, the last video that we were here, and uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. You can just go over there and take a look at it as well. That was having strong feet and how we go about training strong feet. And today we want to talk a little bit about good hips and the understanding of what that means. All of this, this whole idea of this philosophy, doesn't matter what your style is, doesn't matter what your technique is. These are the things that I do when push comes to shove. These are the three things that I believe in, the three things that I take with me, uh, no matter what it, uh, how I'm trying to execute that swing. Obviously, it's going to play a big part in how I do execute that swing. Okay, so today I do want to get back in that idea of having good uh, hip rotation. And uh, when we begin with that, uh, let me see, I get to the video here correct. There's a couple ways, you know, I'm standing here, I'm holding a chain if you're, if you're wondering. Uh, we're going to look at that, what that means for us, how we go about training our hips and such. One of the things that we're looking at is good hip rotation and not hip slides. Hip rotation, not hip slides. A lot of this you can go back and start to look at uh, uh, Dr. Paul Nyman, uh, with some of his work at SetPro, uh, Perry Husband, obviously tremendous influence on what we're doing here. Uh, and the use of the chains and such, and the chains themselves you can find at Oats Specialties. So you can make them. However, for me, it's a far easier just to go get them from, from Mr. Oats, good people down there in Texas. Uh, but again, uh, the chains themselves, they help us uh, ideally with, with uh, creating good hip rotation and getting the body to sync up. And our basic forms are, we do straight arms. And what we'll do here, I'll, we'll cut away to this as well. So we do straight arms and we do some huggy action. And, you know, actually we've got a library complete with all of that, uh, with a whole set of drills and such that, that we do. Um, so strong feet, good hip rotation, being on time. Those are the foundation of what it is of my hitting philosophy. So we've done three or four, maybe five videos here because uh, with the two, how do we train videos that go along with it. We've got about 15, 20 minutes in on this. Go back, take a look at those videos. It sets up the things that we're trying to get done, the things that we're trying to do as hitters. I wanted to follow yeah. up on you know, this idea of philosophy and the idea of my feet, the idea of my hips, the idea of being on time, and how does that relate in regards to things like front foot pickup or launch angles or any of those other items. What I want to take into consideration is what is my intent when I'm trying to swing? Because it's going to help shape my swing. Remember, I want to go back to the idea that, believe it or not, Barney the Dinosaur, one of the greatest hitting instructors of all times, Barney told us to use our imagination. And that's what hitters are doing nowadays. Okay they're really working on driving the ball and driving the ball far and driving the ball hard. So you see their intent start to figure. So the whole idea of like launch angles, I'm not against it. However, I would caution that that whole idea of lifting balls might have uh, somewhat of some drawbacks that exist in there. I still believe that a ball that is well hit hard on the ground has a, uh, has a legitimate place in our game. Uh, I still am training to hit a line drive. I still want to hit line drives. Um, body size certainly plays a part in it, and being on time uh, certainly plays a huge part in it as well. So if I'm just working on uppercuts and uh, I rim out uh, off my um, off my hip here and, and everything is just lean, laid back and launched up, I'm probably gonna hit a lot of ground balls, believe it or not. My barrel's gonna come through the strike zone uh, in a shorter path 
in a shorter amount of time. So if I'm slightly behind, I'm going to get on top of that and put that ball on the ground. Uh, worse, I'm going to, that's obviously going to be a swing and a miss. So the whole idea of launch angles in and of themselves, it's not that I'm against it. I'm probably not trying to work for it as much as we are led to believe that we should be. I think I'm going to go back to that idea of what it is that I, you know, what do I want that ball that I hit? What do I want it to look like? What am I targeting? And uh, I think that uh, will help us out quite a bit. And if I can move my hips well, so, you know, body movement, strong feet, getting on time, the use of our right nows that, that we've uh, gone over and over and over and over in here, uh, all play a huge part in that, okay? So hopefully that helps resolve some of that idea of, you know, what's the difference between my philosophy and, and style or technique. That's what I'm uh, getting to. That's what I want you to understand. So moving forward, now you have an idea of what it is that you're trying to do. And well, final word on this today, get it written down. Start marking the things that you're doing so that when you do them well, you've got a compilation, a history to fall back on when things aren't going well. All right. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon. This is Coach Bill.